All right, guys, welcome back to Task Force Off-Road. My name is George. We got Neko back over here, and we're f really, really digging into the jet ski. I already tried to do a little bit, and too very unsuccessfully. So we're really going to dig into it right now. And our first step, I bought this test light. Neko, you want to show them the test light real fast? So in theory, you ground it, and then you touch this tip to something that's supposed to have power, and it'll light up. Simple. So we should finally be able to really find out what is wrong, at least electrically, I hope. If not, we're gonna start pulling some things off, including like the starter and the carb and things that we know are probably gonna have to get worked on. And then once we pull those off, I'm, we're just gonna go straight to power to things and see what works and what doesn't. So it's gonna be a fun one. All right, so this is a terrible idea. We unplugged the start button from the starter solenoid, and I'm gonna stick a screwdriver in there while holding a rubber glove to see if that jumps it. I don't know if this even in theory would work, but I think it should, because we have power going here, no power going here. So you just wanna jump across those two terminals? Yep, wanna hold this plastic. Nothing. Nothing. But could that also mean this just says no power? Or it leads me again to starter not having ground. Right, well, we can test continuity. Can you see what kind of bolt it is holding it on so we can just pull it off? Test the starter. Oh, you wanna test the whole, like? Might as well at this point. I just wanna see if this wire has continuity first. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna feel around. That's it. Oh. Right? It's not the wire. Could be the wire to ground though. The ground wire's over here. Yeah. Where is it? Where is it grounded though? It's grounded here. You set up the engine, I think. That's our problem. It was never grounded in the fucking first place. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> but does that explain, or is that the ground for everything? Yeah. So where, does, where do we ground to for that bolt for that? Uh, Can we ground directly to battery just to see if it fucking works? <laughs> do you have any idea how pissed I am right now? Where the hell would this have been? I don't know, but it explains all of the problems. We have our first sign of life. Uh, we're getting blinks. So we figured out where the ground went. It's directly to battery because we're stupid. Um, I'm gonna try and jump the starter now, the solenoid now, and see what happens. But this is awesome. First signs of life. We have blinks. We have power. Nothing. We have power. Also, our beeper is broken because clearly we're getting a recognize out of the key, but we're not getting beeps when we plug the key in. Anyways, it could mean something else. No light, huh? Whoa, we're blinking, but what does that blinking mean? What the fuck? We were getting a light with this before. And now we I'm definitely have up. a good ground. Here we go. I 
think that means bad solenoid. The starter's working. That totally means bad solenoid. Yeah, because power's going directly to it. We need to order a solenoid. Boom! Is there any way you can fix it so we can do it right now? Whichever one of you suggested to use the torch to bring the color back. Thank you, because it's working fantastically. All right, guys, so it's the next day right now. We got some two-stroke that we're throwing in this thing. It's got some gas. I'm gonna throw some stabilizer in it as well. We have new plugs, and we also have a new starter solenoid. Because yesterday we determined that we're about 99% sure it is the starter solenoid. Uh, we might have more issues than that, but we'll find that out as time goes on. But this is at least a good jumping point that we, we know this was an issue. Luckily, my local Sea-Doo dealership that I got my ski at had one in stock. So it was a little bit pricier than getting it on Amazon because it's a genuine BRP part. However, it's brand new and it's the same thing. So worth it. All right, so we just cleaned up a ground and we made progress in the amount that it's turning over. Now it's turning over like it wants to start but it's still not turning over with the key. So we're gonna rule out the fact we have a broken beeper because maybe we have an issue and the beeper would tell us. However, it's also plausible that we have a broken beeper and that's why it's not beeping anything, which I probably think it is because I know the beepers go. So that's what we're doing right now. All right. So yellow, red, all the way to the computer yep. from the solenoid, right? Okay. Uh, this is for some reason it's labeled yellow, red from the post here, the start button, and then it turns into yellow, black, black. Okay guys, so by the end of that last clip that you just saw, we kind of are at the point where we think it's the computer or the key. So we found a guy, I believe it's Westside Power Sports or Westside Motorsports. He's out of Minnesota, you can Google him. And he bench tests MPEMs and the keys and he can sync the keys to, for you. It's about 30 bucks for the service. So we sent it out or sending it out to him and we're gonna see where that puts us at. Hopefully we find the issue also hopefully it's not the mpem because those are really really expensive uh really hoping that's not the case however with that being said guys that does conclude today's video like share comment and subscribe i hope you guys enjoyed this one join the task force up and really hit that subscribe button i really appreciate it but um i hope we find good news because we're really starting to scratch our heads with this one if you guys have any ideas, just like in the last video, leave them down in the comment section below and, you know, I'm going to start troubleshooting through through them because I, I, we, we don't know. We think it's the computer, but like, we'll see. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.
It's that first day of first grade, that cute girl, your third day, that backpack, that snapback you've had since the third grade. The first time you got laid, the worst time you got played, it hurt, but you're